सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द स्विफ्ट सीरीज एंड इन टुडे लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ओपेक टाइप सो फर्स्ट वी वांट टू नो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द ओपेक सो ओपेक वर्ड इटसेल्फ मींस दैट यू कैन नॉट सी थ्रू इट सो व्हेन वी वांट टू रिमूव ट्रांसपेरेंसी रिलेटेड टू द टाइप सो हियर टू डायग्राम्स इज शोइंग वन इज ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड अदर इज ओपेक सो फ्रेंड दिस इज द ओपेक सो यू कैन सी हियर this is opaque because opaque is not a transparent and in between opaque we cannot see so this is opaque type where we cannot see inside of it so here we are discussing about opaque type so opaque is where when we want to remove the transparency so a function or method that returns in opaque type hide its return value type information so it's the main point of the opaque because opaque type hides the return value type information instead of providing a concrete type as a function return type the return type is described in term of protocol it support so in the opaque type we are not returning here any concrete type the return value is described in term of protocol it support so friend opaque type is just a type like integer type like float type like boolean type so opaque type is also a type in the swift language so in opaque type a function don't return a concrete type so here what is the concrete type here so you can say the concrete type like any function not returning here any integer type value not returning any float type value not returning any boolean type value so function just returning here opaque type value opaque type tells us that opaque hide its return type information so opaque type allow you to describe the expected so here we are not sure so opaque type allow you to describe the expected return type without defining a concrete type so in opaque type we are not sure that what will be written from the function so here we describe the return type as a expected return type value so where we are not sure that what will be the return from the function then we return as a expected return type value so what do i mean by hiding the type so function is returning something about which the color function is not aware of what i mean is that protocol class type is being written instead of concrete type while under the hood a concrete type is being returned so where we use opaque type as a return type so if we are using any function in the function we can use opaque type as a return type so if we are using any subscript in subscript we can also use opaque type as a return type and if we are using any property so type of property we can return as a opaque type so here is some examples where we can use opaque type as a return type so here is some example where we cannot use opaque type as a return type so suppose we are using any tuple so in tuple we cannot use opaque type as a return type so if you are using any generic type so in generic type we cannot use opaque type as a return type and if you are using any element of an array so in array element we cannot use opaque type as a return type so here is some example where we cannot use opaque type as a return type so how we declare the opaque type so we use sum and we use some constant so here constant can be any class type sum is a keyword in the swift and here we use the constant with the sum we it can be the any class type it can be any protocol type and it can be any protocol composition type so it's the different different names we can use with sum keyword so how we use sum so we declare the opaque type with sum and here we use the type so type is here any expected type we are not sure what will be the return from here so a common place where we use opaque type today is inside the body of the swift ui view so it's the example of the swift ui view and if you are already familiar with swift ui view so in swift ui view we use the sum keyword in the body of the program so here you can check that sum we are using here and sum in every 
program of the swift ui we use the sum so opaque type theory is some difficult to understand so let's begin with examples and try to explain what is opaque type and how we use with practical it so here is an example i have already added the code for the opaque type we are using here protocol mobile os and i assume that you are already familiar with associative type so if you did not watch my previous lecture of the associative type i have given the link in the description box so you can check now so here associative type is very correlated with the opaque type and in this lecture we will clear about what is the difference between the opaque type and associative type and also what is difference between protocols and opaque types and how we use so in this single example we will clear all these things here so here protocol is mobile os and associated type we are using with protocol is mobile id so you know better that we use associated type for making protocol as a generic protocol because we are using here different different type of stack and a single protocol we are using in all the stack so here stack one stack is two and here stack three so all these three stuck are using a single protocol so here mobile id we are creating it as a associative type so here we are using get and set and mobile id we are passing into the id so here we are declaring the type of the id because in the associative type we declare the type the time when we are confirming the protocol so mobile os we are confirming here so id so type of id we are declaring here so id type is here int and here we are using id type is string and again we are using id type is int here so it's the concept of the associative type so now the today concept is associative type so suppose we are accessing the value of of different different stack so you can access it like this so i am assigning here different different object and assigning the value here so here id we are assigning here 100 and here id value we are assigning iphone 14 and here the value we are assigning 300 and the object 1 object 2 and object 3 we are using for accessing the id so when we are run this program so result will be show here like this android id will be show here 100 iphone 14 and 300 so this value will be show here like this so can we use it like this suppose i am using here a single function for the first stack so first stack name is android mobile so i am returning here a stack and can we use this function here directly suppose i am commenting this code now and try to access this function with get mobile so suppose i am removing id here and running this function so check what will be the result of it yeah so friend you can check that android mobile id is showing here because this function is returning a mobile android it's the name of the stuck and id value so this function is returning a stuck so stuck is accessing here so in the same way if we want to access the second stack we can access here like this and if you want to the third stack so different different function we are using here suppose i am uncommenting this code we have already the different different function for it so it's get mobile is three functions here now the same function we are using here so i am commenting this code now yeah so in the same way mobile ios mobile is showing here with the second function when i am calling here get mobile so get mobile is the same name we are using in the three different functions so get mobile is calling here so this function will return iphone 14 and name of the stack so name of stack and its id is showing here so if you want to just show the id so we will just here type id then it will show the id yeah so if you want to make this function is a more generic function because we are using here three functions 
so can we make it a more generic so we are using here different different functions so we can we use a single function suppose I am commenting this code and I am using here a single function and I will return here according to opac type we can return a protocol so I am returning here a protocol and can we access it now so I will access this function with the help of the this so this function I am calling here so now I will access it yeah so it's showing us an error that that mobile OS protocol as type must be written as so you can replace it with any or you can use here a sum sum is the keyword here so I am using here sum so the error is gone now now I run again and check the error is now showing or not yeah so here you can check that now Android mobile ID is showing so the whole struct is showing here so suppose I want to just show ID so I will type here ID only and run again yeah so you can check that now Android mobile ID we can access with this function so suppose I want to access this function with for the another stuck so I now I call this function again and run again it yeah so it's showing another second time hundred so can we change inside this function so in the opac type we can change implementation of the function and we can return as we want in the function so here we can return value which we want to return here suppose we want to now return here a this value ios value ios struct value so we can return here this value now and now run it again so two times now the message is showing here because this function is calling two times so with the help of the get mobile ID this function I am calling here for Android and for iOS so it's showing two times here so now I call it and it will show a single result only yeah so now the result mobile ID so now the result iPhone 14 is showing for the iOS stuck so like this we can a return here is same for the windows stuck suppose I want to return here a window mobile so we just pass here and call here again suppose I am calling here with this so now window mobile ID will be display here yeah so now window mobile ID 300 is showing here so the conclusion of this lecture is that so here we can check we are using here sum and mobile os so mobile os is here protocol name so we are using here sum and protocol name and you can check that the color function is do not know which type of value the function is returning so we just calling here the name of the function so the function decide which value it will return from here so we can return here any integer type value we can return here any string type value so only function is deciding it so it's a opac type when the function decide which value it will return so return type is hiding here so return type is not deciding here which value the function is returning we can return here any type of value suppose we can return here any string any int any float type value we can return here so here return type is not a concrete type it's a opac type so the opac type means that when the function do not know the return type and function implementation decide which value will be returning from the function so it's exactly reverse of the generic function because in generic the cooler function decide which value will be pass in the parameter we can pass a parameter as a string parameter we can pass a float type parameter we can pass a integer type parameter so all the value we pass into the caller function where we call the function so if you have any query regarding to the opac type you can comment me 
and ask any question related to the opaque type. I hope this video is helpful and if you did not subscribe this channel so please like share and subscribe the channel. Thanks for the watching.